Hi, everybody. I'm excited to tell you about the Soul Gym Content Creation Program. So what is this? It is a place to support you, an online community and a training program to support you in creating content consistently and how to repurpose your best content and to share it with social media so that you can grow an audience for your authentic business. So if you have watched any of my videos, uh, maybe you've heard this idea. And not only do I believe the idea, I actually do it myself, which is one of the most important habits to build in your business. If you want an authentic business, which is to have a business doing what you love, sharing what you love, one of the most important habits. And I think the first real habit or set of skills to develop is consistent and authentic content creation. And I've noticed over the years as I've coached hundreds of clients and thousands of students that that's one of the hardest thing to do. People say, oh, I get it, George. I know that to build a, an audience of true fans and therefore have plenty of people who would love <clears throat> to hire me for my services and to buy my products and things, I know that I need to show up consistently with authentic content, but it's so hard to do it. Many reasons why it's hard. Maybe you are a caretaker. Maybe you um, have a, you know uh, personal situations where it's hard to show up consistently. But even if you have a perfectly quiet <laughs> and calm life, it's still difficult to show up consistently because creating, by definition, means bringing into the world something that has not been there before. And with that comes all the risk of what if people don't like it? What if I sound stupid? What if I don't uh, appear as intelligent or credible as I'd like people to believe that I am or that I believe that I am? Uh, what if this thing doesn't go anywhere? What if nobody cares? Why bother creating? And so, so much of the journey of becoming a consistent and authentic creator, which is what builds you a true fan audience and allows you, your marketing to be easier and easier over the years. Let me say that again. It was a long chain, but this is, this is the sort of the, how it works. You become a consistent and authentic creator, step one, which is a lot. Step two, you are growing. Therefore, I mean, it's not like, a, you know, once you start it, then you begin growing your true fan audience, the people who resonate naturally with your energy signature. Yeah, everything you say, whether you are making a video or you are writing words or you're recording a podcast or you're simply, you know, taking photos and, and showing them on social media, everything you put up there actually transmits what I call your energy signature into the world. The more you post, the more you transmit your energy signature, the more your energy signature reaches people, some of whom are going to resonate with that energy signature. And the people who resonate with that deeply, they don't know, even know why. It's something about your face, something about your voice. You don't have to be a pretty or handsome person. But there's some, I believe also there's some kind of soul group connection or something. But there's, if you don't believe in that, there's at least some personality compatibility that happens. Again, it's not about how pretty or handsome you are. Um, it's not about how beautiful your voice sounds or how wonderful you, wonderfully you write. There's something about the, co the combination of who you are and the experience and the background you have that somehow there's like, it's like a key to a doorway. It's like, it matches perfectly what some people in the world need at this time in their life. And so the more you show up with your energy signature, the more <laughs> basically your soul group members find you. It's almost like we, we came into this life uh, agreeing, again, play with me here. If you don't believe this, at least play with the analogy. Imagine that we all uh, agreed before we incarnated into this life, into this earth, before we you know, were all souls in an infinite uh, field. And we say, all right, let's play a game of hide and seek. The, the 10,000 of us, right, a part of the soul group or whatever, are all going to incarnate into different places in the world. We're even going to show up in different times. You'll be born um, 30 years after me, and uh, or they will be born 12 years before me or whatever. We're going to be born at different times, different places. 
but we're going to be born at a time where there's something called the internet. And through the internet, we're going to, we're going to play this hide and game of hide and seek. Somehow your purpose in this life, part of your purpose is to learn how to find your authentic voice and to express it, um, you know, as powerfully as you possibly can. So that is the soul gym that we're coming into here. You're exercising your soul and expressing it in a way that sends out pings to the internet to find your 10,000 soul group members. Now, again, that's an analogy, whether that's literally true or not, it's up to your, your, your uh, spiritual worldview. But I think it works, whether spiritually or even practically and strategically for business, this is an analogy that actually I find to be true. The more you are willing to show up with your authentic voice, experiment and explore with that publicly, share your story, share the challenges you've gone through, share the results or the solutions you've come across, you've developed or you come across that have helped you to overcome your, your challenges and to help your friends, your clients overcome theirs. The more you do that, the more your soul group members find you because that was part of why you incarnated here is to practice and exercise that because without exercising it, you're not fulfilling your soul's calling in this life. And to exercise it means you are fulfilling your soul's calling, which is then you get rewarded by having your soul group members find you because you all agreed to play hide and seek. And now you get to find each other. So that's what I've been doing now, uh, creating authentic, consistent content since 2014. I didn't know about this. I started my business in 2009. I didn't know about the power of creating authentic content consistently until 2014. I'm so glad I finally figured out, okay, if I really want my marketing to be easier and easier in the future, I've got to not only keep launching and try to sell and persuade people to buy. That's what I did for my first five years. So much stress and drama, hard work, ups and downs of business. I had to try to get clients and all. And then 2014, some like, well, it was really 2012. It really kind of began my consciousness. I feel like started to shift in some way. And by 2014, I'm like, all right, I'm going to dedicate myself. It took me two years. I'm going to dedicate myself to consistently creating. And once I started doing that, it took me two years to figure out how to, how to do this. And by 2016, I, I looked around and I was very interested to find out that I haven't had to do any outreach for clients for a little while. I, don't, I can't pinpoint exactly when it started, but I know I started content in 2014. And by 2016, by the end of 2016, I no longer had to reach out to get clients. But, but at that time, I was still doing, uh, I was still working with one-to-one -one clients, individual clients. I no longer had to do that because all of them were coming to me through my content and uh, I had a waiting list by the end of 2016. So it took me two years. I don't know how long it'll take you until you have a waiting list and no longer need to do uh, outreach at all for your one-to-one -one clients. I still do outreach for my courses because that's a little different, but one-to-one -one clients, I kind of an eternal waiting list at this point, gratefully. Because why? Because I've continued creating and repurposing, creating, repurposing um, since 2014, and the audience has only continued growing. And my, my cat agrees because she's been here for the whole time, right? Seeing, seeing my whole journey. So that's what that's who you're hearing. So I let me so now that you know a little bit more about the um the business urgency, but also the sole importance of creating authentic content consistently, let me now tell you about the Soul Gym content creation program. I created this program uh, because no matter how much I tried to teach my clients and students, no matter how much I yelled at you, please create content consistently, authentically, learn, practice it. It's going to be uncomfortable, but you have to practice it. Otherwise, you won't get stronger and more confident and more comfortable, all that. No matter how much I yelled at you, you're like, I know, I know, I know, I know. It was just me nagging at you every week to, to do it. It's, I found it to be more or less, not useless, but it was way too long. Sure, I might nag it. You might take me 10 years of nagging at you for you to finally get going. I said, you know, I, there's got to be a better way. So um, along with several of my um, dear clients and students, we created this Soul Gym content creation community and program to support everybody in finally getting going on 
at least weekly consistent creation. That is, to my opinion, a minimum. Yes, let me say that again. A good minimum for how often your audience sees you. By the way, your audience right now, it just might be your 30 Facebook friends. Maybe that's where you start, and that's your audience. Okay, because I bet you, most of you here have more than 30 Facebook friends, right? <laughs> okay, that's where you start. You don't have a Facebook business page yet. Don't worry. You don't have a, uh, maybe you have LinkedIn. You have 10 connections on LinkedIn. That's where you start too. You don't have an email list that maybe you do, maybe you don't. But you start with whoever already um, you have their attention, whoever it is, your 30 Facebook friends. Okay. A minimum is once a week. Really, it's a minimum, not once a month, not uh, every now and then when I get inspired. Again, one thing you're going to learn in Soul Gym, just like a physical gym, right? Typically, people, people don't go to the physical gym consistently because they feel like working out today. The people who go consistently go because they know that once they show up and begin, then they generate the feeling like it. Well, I mean, uh, another example, I didn't feel like starting this very video. Just like if you watch any of my videos, have you noticed the beginnings of it are not as powerful as the middle and the end? Have you noticed? Because the beginning, I didn't feel like being there. Like, look, watch all of my videos and you'll know. I mean, um, you know, except for the short, the shorter ones I make after I make my longer ones. So, so watch my videos that are about 20 minutes long. Go to my YouTube or Facebook. Notice beginning of it. I'm kind of like still getting into it. And then I'm like, make fake it till you make it a little bit in the beginning. Not, I'm not faking it. Right. Well, George, authentic content has, but I'm, I'm faking it in the way that I believe that I can generate low. I believe I can generate wanting to, 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 to be here. I have a heart of service. I know that. And I believe I can express that sometime in this next 20 minutes is what I'm, I'm I, I, I trust. So that's why, Anyway, th that's something you're going to practice, practice, practice until it becomes very normal for you. Oh, yeah, I know. I know the first 15 minutes I write, I'm not going to feel like writing. I'm not going to think I'm smart enough, have any ideas. I don't think this is going to come together. That's normal. That's what you get to practice in the soul gym, just like you might practice at a regular gym. Like, I don't feel like being here, but let me go ahead and get going on the treadmill. Let me go ahead and push some weights. Oh, you know what? I think I can, I can feel that I'm going to get stronger by doing this. Same thing with the soul gym. You're going to feel. Oh my God, I'm going to get more creative. I could, I, I'm going to feel, you're going to feel the ability to generate creativity on demand. And once you start feeling that, you start feeling like you can do anything in the world. It's really that powerful. Like, oh my gosh, I can, I can create anything at any time, no matter how, how much is going on in my life. Okay, so let me tell you about the Soul Gym program. And the way I want to tell you about the program, actually, is using the words of the program members themselves. I feel like that's the most effective and true way of telling you about it. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen so that you can actually see uh, the words of the members themselves. So you can see here, thank you, Susan, for writing this. Just wrote this two days ago. I feel safe in Soul Gym. What I mean, and by the way, Susan gave me, oh, gave me uh, all, all the people I'm sharing gave me permission to quote them. Okay. What I mean is I feel safe to post whatever kind of content is on my mind, whether or not it's directly linked to my business, because you've got to practice authentic creating without an agenda of trying to build your business. You know, but let's set that aside for later when you at least feel powerful and safe to create. I feel safe trying out new ways of writing, expressing, talking about vulnerable topics. I feel the community, this community, Soul Gym, has got my back and will continue to stand behind me as I grow my business. I've met so many like-minded, beautiful humans here. Thank you, Susan, for being one of them. Next, Utah wrote, Soul Gym is like an anchor, an advisor, a reminder that it's okay to go forward in my business step-by-step. -step. Safe harbor for sharing content ideas, for minutes to slow down, for empowerment and inspiration in a community of awesome and heart-centered people around the globe. And um, you know, uh, Yuta gave me permission to do to share this well. And Yuta says, I love the great and lovely support of my soldier and helper, Heather Tobin. So that's one of the things that you're going to discover in this course in Soul Gym is you get assigned a soldier helper 
who is there to encourage you on a weekly basis. If you wish to, you can ask them how often to encourage you, but they're there to encourage you on a, on a weekly or monthly basis to create again, consistently again. They're, they'll be there to notice your posts and to uh, comment on them, et cetera. So, um, so, so that's Utah. And then Heather, uh, one of our soul gym helpers, thank you, says, I love reading a variety of posts to get to know about the person sharing. I enjoy the different categories. Depending on my mood, I can take in a variety of topics that I feel reading about. Let me go and show you the categories that we have in soul gym, okay? We have, well, besides staff announcements and miscellaneous, a lot of people post in miscellaneous because um, they they haven't decided how to categorize it yet. That's okay, you can do that. But we we talk about animals and pets art and creativity, authentic business and marketing, of course, career and work purpose, cultural societal issues, death and working with grief, education and teaching, family of origin issues. I'm reading them because they, this is actually in alphabetical order. So um, health and well-being, joyful productivity and habits, leadership, money and wealth, parenting and birth. We actually would love some more content there. Um, personal growth, relationships and communication spirituality and spiritual growth, spirituality and business. And then of course you can post questions about content creation, personal growth, et cetera. Um, we actually do a lot more Q and A in our soul gym trainings uh, than, than here in the forum. The here in the forum people are practicing creating on a consistent basis. So uh, what else does Heather say? I like the connections I've made. I like jumping on the soul gym calls when I can. So at this point, let me tell you about our calls. We have calls and let me just go ahead and go to whoops, uh, uh, com soul gym. That's how you find the program information. Uh, did I type this incorrectly? Yes, I did. I didn't spell my name correctly here. All right. <laughs> so be sure to spell my name correctly. Dot com slash soul gym. And let me go ahead and share with you um, when the calls are. So the calls happen every week, 30 minutes for each of the two major time zones. So there's America's daytime and Europe every Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific, which is 11.30 a.m. Eastern and 4.30 p.m. GMT. Okay, and then for the America's evening time zone, which is also Australia and Asia, uh, it's Thursday, uh, Tuesdays, sorry, Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, which is 8.30 p.m. Eastern, which is basically daytime in Singapore and uh, Australia and, and, and other parts of Asia and Australia. So uh, now what, what do we do during those 30 minutes? Let me, let me tell you what we do. We, uh, let's see here. Um, okay. So what we do during those 30 minutes is in the first 10 minutes, I give you a chunk, a little chunk, digestible chunk of content creation and content repurposing training. So we're, we're walking through what's called the Authentic Content Flow course, which let me quickly summarize for you here, right? The Authentic Content Flow is my flagship course, online course about how to create authentic and re relevant, resonant content that builds you a true fan audience. So you're going to learn how to um, uh, unlock your creative potential by doing consistent, authentic ex expression. Get over those blocks of creativity. Oh, I don't have enough time. My life is very chaotic. Um, really, uh, so much of that is actually your brain being so genius and brilliant at avoiding creative discomfort, <laughs> okay? Okay. Because your brain is so genius, it will give you all kinds of, it'll emphasize, it'll emphasize um, that you don't feel so well today. It'll emphasize that your kids need your help, that your kids are way more important than your content creation. Obviously they are, but your brain will emphasize that when it's even when it's time to create. Your brain will emphasize that the, your, your parents are way more important for you to take care of than your creation. Yes, that's true. Yet your brain will emphasize it, especially at the time that you have set aside to create your stuff because creative discomfort is real and your brain throws up all kinds of resistance. So we're going to talk, talk about that. We're going to talk about the vulnerability hangover when you post. Have you ever felt that? I feel that all the time. When I post something, I'm like, oh my God, okay, it's out there now, right? What's going to happen? We're going to talk about that. We're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with dissolving perfectionism because have you ever said, oh, I just need to research a little bit more? about this topic, 
before I can write about it, before I can share about it, or mm, I just need to edit this more before I can post it. You, you'll, you'll learn in our program how to practice the speed of what I call stage one content so that you'll see yourself that, oh, now I really understand perfectionism and how to work with it properly, okay? Um, we'll learn, we'll talk about how to organize content ideas. We'll learn the three stages of content and you'll customize it to your own process because each of us will customize it differently. You're gonna learn capture, categorize and calendar and how to create your own process of doing so so that you show up consistently, right? You'll learn how to organize your content ideas, of course, You'll also choose the best format for your stage one content. Is it going to be writing or is it going to be live videos or is it going to be podcasts? We'll talk about that. And you will choose your own best format because everyone is going to, you'll notice, will choose a little differently. You're going to plan your rhythm of stage one, two, and three content. We're all going to do it together. You're going to plan your rhythm and actually use it in our soul gym. Um, you're going to clarify your whole process of brainstorming ideas all the way to publishing. I have a process I'm going to teach you. Obviously, you're going to probably have a different process because we all have a different way of brainstorming and actually uh, journaling publicly. All, you know, uh, all the way to repurposing and getting our best content and sharing it uh, again. So uh, you're going to learn how to generate the best ideas. I have a whole catalog of top performing content ideas that I reveal in this program, uh, Soul Gym. And you know, technically, I reveal it in my authentic content flow course, which you get as part of the Soul Gym program. Uh, you're going to learn how to use that catalog for inspiration on a regular basis and how to balance, this is really important, free versus paid content. Most of you watching this, my guess is you don't have enough distinction between what content you put out there for free versus what content you sell. Um, most of you put out way too much free content. Not, not, you don't put out enough free content, actually, most of you. But when you do, you talk too much about how to do this, how to do that. No, no, free content is more about inspiration, context setting, philosophy, background and uh, inspiration that gets people maybe very, very big overview of the map of the territory, but not how to get from point A to point B in specific ways. Anyway, we'll talk about that in, in, in this program as well. And you'll, you'll kind of finally like <laughs> have a clear separation and be able to do the, the, the kinds of free content that I think is much more effective at building a true fan audience. We will, of course, learn how to, oh, you'll experiment with how to create content from massive to miniature, meaning, there are some really big ideas that you'll learn to practice creating, even a, a short post and tiny, tiny ideas. You'll learn to create even a longer post. So we'll experiment with this because it's important to learn how to do this. You will track your content for, for greater impact because without tracking, you can't really do stage two content. Stage two content is where you take the best of your stage one and then edit it and then reshare it to uh, other platforms that allow you to really grow your audience. My audience has really grown because of my stage to content, not because of my stage one. So you'll learn how to do that as well. Um, like I mentioned, stage two content is build you a true fan audience. Stage three content makes you money. So we'll talk about that in the program. Finally, we'll talk about growing your reach <clears throat> with a customized content distribution plan. I'm going to give you 20 options. You're going to choose maybe two or three of those 20 options to create your content distribution plan to actually have your content reach a lot more of the right people. The last thing I'm, I, I I'm going to offer you in, in this short video, or not so short video, rather, is that you, as part of Soul Gym, you get access to my Joyful Productivity course. Yes, this is one of my favorite courses to teach. It's one of my students' favorite courses, too. So this is part of Soul Gym. You get this as a part of it, okay? You get uh, Joyful Productivity is a suite of skills, such as well-being practices, habit creation, how to do morning review, how to plan your week, okay? How to do time logging for more awareness, how to unwind throughout the day and, and how to actually st structure your quick breaks throughout the day, capture categorized calendar that's similar to what you're gonna get in Soul Gym, how to organize your, your information, all of your, your business uh, information uh, by deliverables. You know, obviously you learn how to do that in the program. Um, how to create what, what I call a hat manual, because in your business, you wear multiple hats, you know, and how to, how to have a structured, written out process for each of these. I use the hat manuals 
multiple times a day. My, many of my students have started doing that. It helps them feel a lot more organized. So you'll you'll learn how to start start a work ritual, how to work lightly, um, how to transition and switch context in your work, how to manage overwhelm, <laughs> how to create healthy boundaries. Uh, you'll learn some things about you know browser shortcuts and and things like that, D digital decluttering basically. Um, truly deep work. What does that mean? How to follow your calendar because you have a wonderful calendar. You want to follow it. How to actually do that um, in a step by step way, in a gentle way. How to do end of day processing. Have inbox zero. I teach you this because I've been using inbox zero for years now. Um, how to how to organize your to do list because I've been you know expertly doing that, uh, practicing productivity for over a decade, etc. So anyway, lots of things in the Soldier program. Uh, I think I think let me end by showing you maybe one more uh, testimonial. Soldrum has given me enough practice with showing up at a certain time to write. Now I'm able to write at a regular time, which I never thought was true before. Thank you, Christine, for that. Well, there are even more testimonials. You'll find them on the Soldrum uh, program page below or above this video, wherever you're watching this. Thank you so much for considering joining us. And I hope, uh, you know, if you have any questions, please go ahead and comment below. And um, perhaps I'll see you in the soul gym. Thanks so much.